What you're seeing here is shocking footage from New York Times reporter Mike Baker of the unmarked federal officers sent to squash mostly peaceful protests in Portland that turned violent only really when they got there. Uh, these are images of fascism. It's not pretend fascism anymore, but fascism <laughs> implemented by the Trump administration as they keep insisting that they're keeping peace. This isn't peace, this is oppression. The reporter also wrote that one officer punched him in the head. Jeez. That uniform is designed to blend into terrain, not to make you look like a warrior. They're wearing these uniform as a function of uh, intimidation. These men are going out, and I imagine some women, and literally beating people with batons, not apprehending them, as we saw in the case of that Navy veteran the other night, and just beating them. And as we see in this case, detaining people and taking them away. They're not representative of good law enforcement at all. Uh, they are acting like an uncontrolled mob on the street with uniforms and badges that they don't show. As you see right here, they beat this man up. You can't, you should, police don't do this. Watch this. What kind of bull is this? Again, this is still ongoing as a part of an intimidation effort for protesters demanding that black people not be killed in the streets by police. It's, it's deeply disturbing. Again, the idea that Department of Homeland Security officials are able to just grab American citizens and throw them into unmarked vans, which is what is happening, and that Trump is basically doing that with impunity, that should terrify everybody. But yeah, but no, the MAGA heads are like, yeah, what a tough guy trampling on the Constitution that we say that we love, except when it's every amendment except the Second Amendment, so that I can continue to buy an AK-47 and feel, or an AR-15, and feel my manhood is big, basically what that is. So why Portland, though? Because that's what's sticking out to me. Trump's threatening to send these unmarked, unconstitutional, Gestapo-esque forces. <laughs> I don't want to say that flippantly, by the way, but this is the kind of thing that that could lead to if it goes unchecked. Just being honest, that's how that started out. I, I'm, I'm not trying to downplay what happened in Nazi Germany, of course. I just mean this is what it echoes. Um, so uh, back to what I'm saying. Why did he pick Portland? I think that that's fascinating because he's threatening to go to different cities throughout the country and I read an article which made it a little bit more clear. Critics said the president is testing out heavy-handed enforcement in Portland, a largely white city known as one of the most progressive in the nation, before moving on to more diverse cities. My sense is they chose Portland because if they had rolled this out in, say, Minneapolis, it would mean to come in direct confrontation with many more black activists, said Joe Londis, a professor of political science at the University of Oregon. With Portland, it's a whiter city, and they can demonize Ant Antifa or the idea of anarchist looters and kind of take race out of it in a direct way and make it seem more sympathetic. Images of armored agents in Portland beating and gassing unarmed protesters, including a Navy veteran, and reports of anonymous agents snatching protesters into unmarked vans began spreading online last week, fueling a national debate about the use of federal forces against U.S. citizens. In Portland, activists said the federal presence has created more violence. According to federal court documents filed Tuesday, there are 114 off federal officers deployed to Portland, including representatives from the Federal Protective Service, Immigration Customs Enforcement, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, and the U.S. Marshal Service. Many of the deployed agents are wearing Department of Homeland Security patches, but not name tags. The protesters are demanding accountability for police and Trump's response and the federal government's response is to send in unaccountable federal police with no name tags, whose faces are covered, who can do whatever they want to protesters. It's Orwellian. And then they say they're keeping peace. Peace means war, war means whatever. It doesn't matter. All that matters is Trump exerting his force on what he sees as soy boys or whatever, you know, the, the 4chan far-right idiots say about leftists who are trying to advocate for a better world for people. 
it's terrifying and I'm glad the New York Times was there to, to record these images because then, then maybe when mainstream media starts taking it seriously, people in government and other people will start taking it seriously too.